This one's unusually clean on the outside, but usually it's a good idea to spray and get rid of any loose stuff on the outside. Usually they're really but ugly and dirty. So what you need is a carburetor cleaner, good quality one, various lengths of wire, different widths. We're going through the passages and jets. And actually a gun bore cleaning tool comes in handy too. And you need a float valve kit as they call it, which is a needle and seat and a retaining spring. Half inch wrench to take the bottom off. Take the bowl assembly off. Now one of your most critical things here. I don't know how good we can macro here, but let's try it. it. Is right here. There's a hole in the end there, and there's two holes there for to suck the gas up out of the float bowl. All of those need to be cleaned. You take your different rods. And make sure it's all clean. Do it a couple times, make sure there's nothing hiding out in there. And you can take some compressed air. You can blow it dry. And blow on it. bowl. And there's a pin right here. Push that out to the side. They make a special tool for that. But usually needle nose pliers, nimble fingers. Get the float out. There's your needle right there. And the seat's right in there. I'm going to pull that seat out and then clean all the passages. And to remove the seat, I usually screw a screw in there. Make sure it doesn't catch the metal. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. And there it comes out the seat. Then you want to clean all the jets and everything. This one appears like it might have a little water in it too. Change the fuel line on it too. It's a little sticky there. I'll find my super duper handy dandy pocket knife here and we'll slice it here so we don't damage this nylon fitting here. Comes right off that way. We're going to change this. Another spot they don't tell you about where when they used to in good old days when you used to be able to adjust a carburetor under here is a metering jet. Take this piece of plastic off. Get rid of that and then unscrew that and clean it. Got little holes in the end and there. For that, you're going to want a real pin, thin piece of wire, kind of like picture frame wire strands. Run that through there. It doesn't feel like it wants to run through. Make sure that's clear. everything else you can take and make sure that it flows clearly. 
Spray some cleaner in there. Make sure all everything's clear here. That's your primer. Make sure there's nothing built up in there. So start reassembly, put this in so you don't forget it. It just screws all the way down. It is an emissions carburetor so it doesn't have any adjustment. Then you'll want to take your needle and seat. looking put your spring on your needle put your seat in it's got three should have a little side with ridges that goes on the carburetor side put that in there as straight as possible push it down with something round make sure it's all the way in and it is and take your needle, put it on your float assembly, slides over that little lever there, get it kind of centered, just drop it in the hole, oh, if it doesn't try to take off. Sometimes they'll try to make a fool out of you. Put your pin back in. Put your gasket back on. And if you need a new gasket, change it. This one's good in life. When you put the bowl on, there's a low spot that goes towards the hinge on the float. Kind of push that down a little bit. Rock it. And then take and put your metering jet and bowl nut there. Take your half inch wrench. Don't tighten it too much. If the fuel line is even questionable, you want to replace it. And this one doesn't have much life to it. Replace it. We used a tie gone. Let's take and put them up together there. Measure them out. Make it just a tad longer. Tie gone doesn't require any clamps. Just push it on and wiggle it. And it'll suck right up to the surface and never leak. Lawn mower repair at the Alameda Repair Shop, Alameda, California.